Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine Indie. So I wanted to go over something real quick that I was having a problem with and other people might as well. So I have a boss fight here and there is a phase where the boss gets down to a certain health. A mechanic will show up and you have to break these four crystals and then it goes back to the regular fight. So what I have here is I have the boss and I had a box trigger set up in the center here. But the problem was is when you were fighting the boss outside of the platform, outside of the trigger, then when the boss got to 50% health, then the boss would go back to the platform and it would overlap and then triggers because I have an overlapping box trigger. That all worked fine. Except for if you were fighting the boss right on top of the platform and the boss was already in the trigger, then it would not trigger. So the crystals wouldn't show up and the mechanic wouldn't kick off. So I looked to see uh, how I can get it working and I really couldn't figure it out with an overlap because if you were already in the box, it wouldn't trigger. So what I did was I removed it and then I started looking around to see how I can do this. Now, I was thinking, well, just do a distance check. And then I saw this one person had a great idea. And that was using, we come here, that was using a nearly equal. So I have here to get actor location. I have the boss start location. Now this is coming from the C++ side because right here during begin play we have a begin play we have a boss start location get actor location and it sets it for the blackboard. So it sets the enemy start location and then I have a phase one when phase one is triggered equals false, then we check the health to see if it's the phase one health, which I have it set to like 50%. And then phase one triggered, that is true. This is basically a do once you know, for blueprint. And then say set phase one, and then phase one is true. Now when the four crystals are destroyed, either by the player or if the player runs out of time and the crystals explode and do damage, then phase one is set back to false, so then the boss can go back to the behavior tree of attacking and strafing. So, what I did was I just went on ahead and removed the box trigger, and this is a macro, because right here we have uh, phase one trigger, true, and then check tolerance, and then just do a do once note of spawn crystals, and then so forth. So let's go back to the macro. So the distance tolerance is I get the actor location, I split the struct pen. I get the boss start location and I split the struct pen. Now, in the top one, get actor location, the X, Y, and Z go into A, and then A, and then A, that's for X, Y, Z. Now the boss start location, X goes into B, Y into B, Z into B. And a error tolerance, I just did 300. I, I set it to 500, that was a little too much. Set it to 200, that was a little too low. So I'm, I'm gonna play with this and get it to the way I like it. But 300 works fine for now. Then you do an and boolean and I added a pin, so that is for the X, Y, and Z. So you do a nearly equal, and the error tolerance is 300. So those will check and see if it's true, and then it returns. And then you can go ahead and start the mechanic. So let's go to the map. I cut out the background music because you will not be able to hear me that well. So if I play from here, and I have the 
ball set to the phase one to be triggered at the boss health is at like 5,000 so I have it tri to trigger at 4,900 and I need to add 20 to my strength if not it's going to take me quite a few hits to get there so I'm just going to up it uh, this strength is just a part of a skill tree that I have that the player adds points to so when the boss triggers at 4,900, which is going to take just basically one hit, the mechanic should kick off. So the boss will strafe, and then when it gets to the behavior tree of checking, then the mechanic kicks off. And then the player has to come here and break all the crystals and then the boss will start to fight again or if you run out of time and the crystals explode it does damage to the player as you can see here and then it goes back to your regular fight so that is what i was having a problem with i tried to set this up with a box trigger but like I said, when the boss was inside the box trigger, it wouldn't trigger. I couldn't figure it out, so I just did it this way, and it works fine. just wanted to show you this so there is an alternative that you can use instead of a box trigger if you're having a problem like I did. And that is this right here. Just get the actor location, get the location that you want to check, and just do a nearly equal and do your error tolerance and that will give you a bullion. So that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, so bye for now.